Hey Aplaya, if you're dealing with bullies in high school and you want to know the best way to avoid them so they just get off your case, I'm going to share a few tips on what you can do right now. For those of you that are new here, my name is Josh and every single Monday through Friday I make videos sharing tips, ideas, and stories teaching you how to be your best self. So if that's something you're interested in doing, hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell. Now I'm no stranger to bullies. I was bullied when I was growing up and I also bullied other kids. So I've seen both sides of the equation and I know what you need to do to avoid them. The first thing I would avoid doing is giving them the attention they desire. Bullies thrive on people paying attention to them and reacting to their bullying. So if you just act completely bored by what they say and what they do, they're going to see they're not getting a rise out of you and then they're going to stop. I remember watching an episode of Degrassi where one of the popular girls was bullying this other girl. And when the girl asked the popular one, why is it that you keep bullying me? The popular girl just said, because you let me. And I think the lesson there is that by reacting, whether good or bad, to someone's bad behavior, they feel validated. They feel like they're important, like someone cares about them, even if it's a negative response. So let's say someone's trying to bully you by calling you a name or making fun of you. Instead of kind of lashing back out by calling them a name or yelling or just visibly getting angry, just kind of take in what they say and go, Really? That's all you gotta say? Or better yet, you can amplify what they say and then take it in a positive direction. So let's say someone calls you a loser. You can respond with, yeah man, I am the biggest loser ever. You're really good at noticing things about people. What are some of your other good skills? Now they might respond to that with more negative insults and you just double down. Man, that's really creative of you. What else do you got? And let them keep working through it until they realize it's not going anywhere. They're not gonna really chip at your core and they themselves are gonna get bored. The second thing that bullies hate is when people are assertive and stand up for themselves. Bullies thrive on the idea that the people they pick on are just gonna take it. They're gonna accept it, they're gonna feel bad, they're gonna be hurt, and that's what fuels the bully to keep doing it. But if you stand up for yourselves, that's gonna throw the bully back and he's not gonna know how to respond. And there are many ways to be assertive. I personally would move away from the assertiveness that ties into physical violence against them and more into the idea of just kind of letting them know sternly, hey, Knock it off, man, it's just not cool. You kind of just look pathetic saying those things. When it's you and a bully in a situation, there's a frame that's created, and whoever controls that frame really is gonna make the other person kind of bend to their will. So you can be assertive and make the bully bend to your will by being non-reactive to the things that they're saying, not letting them get to you, and sternly telling them, hey, just knock it off, man, it's not cool. And that bully is also trying to control the frame. They know that if they can get you to kind of respond negatively, they can check off that bully box and say, yes, I did my bully homework for the day. So here's a real life example of controlling the frame. Back when I was in high school, I had a huge crush on Hilary Duff. I had her posters on my wall, I had her picture in my binder, everything. I was just obsessed with Hilary Duff. So one day, I'm sitting in the hall with my friends, just kind of chatting, and a thug guy comes over and notices the Hilary Duff picture on my binder. He comes over and says to me, are you like Hilary Duff? What are you, gay or something? And instead of feeling like I needed to lash back out and yell at him or say something to him, I just told him, no, I think she's beautiful. That's why I got her pictures everywhere. What's the problem with that? And that prompted him to say, well, you just got pictures of girls everywhere. You just like gay or something. I bet you got pictures of Hillary Duff on your walls or something like that too. I'm making his voice deeper for some reason. But anyway, I responded back by saying, yeah, I got posters of Hillary Duff in my room. I got pictures of my binder. I'm a huge fan. Who do you have pictures of? And that's when he responded, oh, I got 50 cent on my wall. So keeping a calm, cool composure, I just told him, so I have pictures of Hillary Duff on my wall because I think she's beautiful. And you have pictures of 50 Cent. And I'm assuming it's that 50 Cent picture where he's all oiled up and shirtless. And you look at that every night before you go to bed and you're telling me that I'm gay? Yo, you were a faggot, son. And then he just walked away. Now, it's not even what we were talking about that matters. It's more so about controlling the frame. That bully had come in with an intent to kind of insult me, to hurt me, to try to get a rise out of me. But because he didn't, he walked away looking like an idiot. I felt fine, and from that point on, he never talked to me again. And the next thing you need to know is that if you wanna avoid bullies, you're gonna need to avoid drama. Getting involved in other people's drama is a great way to have rumors spread about you, get involved in fights, and just kind of take things in your life in a direction you don't wanna go. If you see two people spreading rumors or fighting or whatever they're doing, don't get involved unless you see one person is clearly being bullied and being picked on. In those cases, I think it's important to stand up and protect people, but you have to be smart about it. You don't wanna insert yourself into drama and then have the bully crew kind of go after you. I remember in high school, that's what it was like for my brother. The rocker kids had a huge 
huge feud going on with a lot of the Russian cool kids. And at one point, my brother, who had green hair, had one of the Russian kids come up to him and say, hey, are you part of that rocker crew? And my brother didn't know really how to respond because he didn't want to get involved in that drama. So he told the kid, yeah, I'm friends with a few of them, but I'm not involved in anything, man. I'm just doing my own thing. And of course, the guy kind of moved on. But if my brother had inserted himself into the drama, you could have guessed that bullies would have come after him and made his life a living hell. Now, not every bullying situation is verbal. A lot of times it can be physical. So if you want to learn to avoid bullies, I think what you need to do is prepare yourself ahead of time. That means exercising, getting fit, and learning how to fight. The truth is, most bullies have no experience fighting. They're not in good shape, they don't have good conditioning, but if that's something that you put a focus on, if people see you walk into school fit and leaned and you know how to fight and you know what you're doing, but you're not instigating anyone, people are probably gonna leave you alone. You wanna be someone that people respect, that they look at and say, hey, I'm not gonna pick a fight with that guy, one, because he's so sure of himself, he's not gonna fight back, and two, if I did fight him, he's probably gonna kick my ass. And I think the ideal situation is to never have to use your physical strength against anyone else, but altercations do happen. So if you do run into a situation like that, I think the best thing that you could do is to immobilize that bully, to stop them dead in their tracks, to get them in an arm lock, a headlock, make them tap out, make them see that if they mess with you again, it can go worse next time. Strength is mainly a mental characteristic, so don't be afraid to demonstrate your strength in other ways than fighting. There are lots of other ways you can talk to people, become their friends, kind of just show them that you're a good person. You're not someone to mess with, but you're also someone who's not going to take anything from anyone. But now I want to know, what do you think? Are you dealing with bullies in school? Have you ever been bullied before? Leave your comments down below and we'll talk about it. On that note, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the thumbs up button and make sure to check out my playlist right there on the screen. You can tap it to see my other videos on high school, helping you get prepared, helping you navigate this journey through high school so you can succeed and move on with your life in a positive way. On that note, guys, I'll catch you next week. As always, love and peace.